Hey guys, well, Cyber Week is upon us and there are so many sales going on. It's hard to wrap my head around and I've been trying to inform you guys of my favorites at least, you know, either through my YouTube community tab or on my Instagram stories or both places. But I'm really trying to just push out the ones that I think are really good. They have a decent discount rate or it's products that I, you know, really, really love. And so today I wanted to share with you the Violet Gray. It actually started yesterday, but they're having their you know, Cyber Week deal and everything is 20% off with a few exclusions, which I will leave down below in the description box. Um, but there are some brands that are excluded, but I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite things from Violet Gray. You know, Violet Gray is one of my favorite, favorite online stores. And not just because they carry a lot of my favorite brands and they just have like impeccable taste, but they really edit down the selection to their favorites. So. I feel like every time I go onto their site, I see something that I haven't seen before, even though that product may be available, you know, at Sephora or at Ulta or someplace else, you know, it gets lost in, in like those stores where they just have everything. I love Violet Gray for that. It actually reminds me a lot of Barney's, rest in peace, but I miss Barney's and Barney's to me was exactly this. Everything was really curated perfectly, edited down to exactly what you want to be looking at. So I personally love Violet Gray. I love shopping at Violet Gray. I'm a big fan. So when Violet Gray told me that they were having a 20% off uh, deal for this like cyber week, I was like, awesome. I'm gonna share some of my favorites. I'm also gonna share what's on my wish list because it's always very long. <laughs> it's always very, very long when it comes to Violet Gray. So why don't we go ahead and start with my recommendations for the sale. The first one is this mask planner from 111 Skin. I love this thing. If you guys watched my PR unhauling of this, I was like, oh my God, this speaks to my little nerdy Virgo heart <laughs> so hard. So it is a planner. It opens up and it has a bunch of masks in here. So there's face masks. There were some eye masks in here in these smaller pockets. I used them, but I wanted to leave uh, the face masks that are in here. Of course, for details on what exactly is in here, you'll find on the Violet Gray site. And of course, I'll link everything down below in my description box if you're interested. But we have an anti-blemish mask. This is one of my favorites. This is the deep puffing mask. I recognize it from the blue color. This is the rose gold mask, which I think you guys have probably have seen me use like on a live stream. And then this is their Y Theorem Biocellulose face mask. And then, like I said, there's two like eye masks that come in here as well. So I just, I love this. I think it makes for such a great gift. And I think if you are really, really into sheet masks and you kind of have like a routine for your week, you can organize them in this awesome case. I love this. I love this so much. I think it just makes for really, really beautiful gift to yourself <laughs> or to a loved one, but I love this. So uh, this is my first recommendation uh, for the sale. The next few recommendations is actually from a brand that I discovered on Violet Gray, because again, Violet Gray is just serving me up things that they have curated and that they've tested out and they've quote unquote approved. There's like Violet Code approved stamps everywhere. Um, and that is the brand Make Beauty. And they had this wonderful lip serum set. It comes in this bag. I think this may be sold out, but each individual lip balm, well, I'll show you. So the lip serums, there's five shades. And so this set includes all five shades, but you can buy them separately. I believe all five of the shades are still available individually. So let me just show you what the packaging looks like. So this is what they come in. It's like a little tube and this sticker kind of keeps it closed. I've cut them open. And inside is the lip serum. So the packaging is great, and I think these would make amazing stocking stuffers. Can you imagine throwing one of these into a stocking? So cute. I'll swatch all the colors for you, but let me just show you the actual packaging. So you have a little window showing you what shade is inside, and these are the serum balms. So you'll see that printed there. And this is one of those glosses or serums that has a really huge uh, doe foot applicator, really easy to apply. This is what I have on my lips. So you have a really, really light tint. Again, I'll swatch all the shades for you. You get this really light tint, but it really is more like 
lip and skincare versus makeup. And I know there's like liquefied jojoba wax in here. There is avocado oil. I mean, all of these things kind of like heal your dry lips, but also keep the moisture in, which is what I need. So that is the level of shine you get. And I've said this before, I'm not really into like super, super high shine glosses. That's just not my thing, but I love this kind of like soft satin finish. I just think it's so, so pretty. It just makes your lips look really full, really, really healthy, and there's no fragrance or anything. And I just, I've just been loving these, absolutely loving these. So like I said, let me go ahead and swatch all of these for you. Okay, so here are the five shades. So this is the one that I have on. This is Nude Nova. This is Pink Cerise, and this comes in this colored packaging. And here is Pink Cerise. And then this one is Halo Moon. And there you can see it. This one gives your lips that beautiful milky appearance. It just sort of cools your lips down. And this is what the tube looks like for Halo Moon. And here is the packaging. And then next we have Sun Flare, which is, it's like an orange. Here's the tube for that. And here is the packaging for Sun Flare. And then last but not least, we have Lilac Layer. And this one is like a purpley mauve. It is the, the deepest uh, shade, but these are also sheer. It seems silly to say that, but here is the packaging for that one. So those are the five shades. I am really, really enjoying this formula. Like I said, I've been wearing this for a while now. I've tried all the colors. I love them all. I wouldn't be able to pick one. I just think they're all absolutely gorgeous. And I love the just the subtle, subtle tint. So they're not really a huge commitment. They're great for every day. And they have a really interesting formula. They're not glossy in that there's any sort of goop or anything. They're not quite as thick as a balm, and they definitely kind of like absorb into your lips. So I feel like when I put a face mask on over these serum balms, there's like not that much of like transfer. I mean, there's a little bit, especially if you like <laughs> press your mask up against your face, which I've done. Um, yes, there's gonna be a little bit of transfer, but it's not like, sometimes when I wear a gloss, I feel like it attracts the mask <laughs> and it sticks to my face. That doesn't happen with these. These are just, they're really nice. That's very well behaved. Very, very nice. So those are the five shades. Yeah, I just really, really love them. I was sad to see that the set was gone, but like I said, you can purchase them individually. And if you just get one of each shade, like there was no cost savings for the set anyway. So um, you could just get each one individually. And the only thing you'll be missing out on is the cute little violet gray bag. Um, so those are the Make Serum Balms Lip Emollient. That's the full name. And then Make also has uh, some skincare items. So. I went ahead and um, got the Pre-Cleanse Fluid Makeup and SPF Removing Oil Cleanser. And I also got their Succulent Skin Wash. It's a serum weight cleanser. So basically you get a double cleanse with this right here. So this is the Pre-Cleanse and this is like an oil. And what I really, really liked about this and what um, I loved about the description of this is that it's SPF removing. Because if you use mineral, sunscreen it almost sometimes can feel like clay and like it just just really really hard to remove and oil really helps and this is like a really really great pre-cleanse if you've got stubborn mascara spf like i just mentioned uh, yeah just anything like liquid lipstick like anything really hard to remove this is really great and then going in with this wash is really nice. So this serum weight cleanser, it's basically like, it's almost like a watery gel. So it's not full on gel, but it's not, I don't think it's a full on serum. Serum to me is like much thinner. Um, so it's almost like a serum gel hybrid. This does such a wonderful job cleaning. My skin feels really, really clean, but it doesn't feel tight. I have very dry skin and I don't like cleansers that feel like they're stripping my skin. And this just does a really nice job cleansing but no stripping, no tightness. My skin doesn't feel dry. I even kind of like stood there for a little while like to see if it was gonna get tighter and tighter like as I let it uh, dry and it, it didn't. It's just really, really lovely texture and formula. And I use this over dry skin 
and then I add water. So this is the pre-cleanse. And then I add a little bit of water and it doesn't lather, but it kind of turns white. And then I wipe it off with a washcloth, a damp washcloth. And then I go in with this and um, I put it on over, it's basically dry skin, but I did just remove this with a damp cloth. So there's a little bit of moisture on my skin. This has a very like low lather to it. Definitely turns white on my skin, but it's not like bubbles appear or anything. A really low lather. And, and then I just wipe it off with a washcloth. I love this combination. This has been like my go-to combination at night. Just really, really enjoying these two. So pre-cleanse and the succulent skin wash. So I don't know if you guys have tried this Make brand, but it's new to me and I am really enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's really great. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have tried this brand, but I'm loving it. Oh, sorry, before we move on, I do wanna mention that the uh, succulent skin wash does have niacinamide in it. My skin doesn't seem to mind niacinamide, but I know if you have really sensitive skin or skin that just maybe is just bothered by niacinamide, I wanted to mention that. Okay, the next product, I feel like I'm just really, really late to, but this is actually a perfect example of what I was talking about in the beginning, about how Violet Gray, because they curate everything and because their site isn't just inundated with like a ton of products. I have definitely probably missed this on a lot of other sites, but I caught this on Violet Gray. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40, and it has clean chemical sunscreen active. So it's reef safe, it's non-irritating, no synthetic fragrance, it's vegan. So the active ingredients are avobenzone, octosalate, and octocrylene. So those are the sunscreens in here. They are chemical, but apparently they are reef safe. That's what the labeling says. So what I was really excited about is that it's basically, let me show you. It has a little bit of a tint and there's a little bit of a glow to it. Not so much that I would call it a highlighter. It's just a really beautiful low level glow. That actually looks pretty high level on my the back of my hand, but I do have it on my face all over and I am wearing it in lieu of any other base product. So I don't have any concealer. I don't have any primer. I don't have any foundation. I don't have any powder down, nothing. This is the only thing that I have basically as my, my base skin product. And it's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. Oh, that looks better. So you just get this really beautiful glow. You get a little bit of a tint, like barely a little bit of a tint, but just enough that I feel like it smooths my skin out a little bit. It kind of evens things out just enough. And I love that it has SPF 40. I think it's fantastic. I still put sunscreen down underneath because I probably don't put enough of this on to get to the SPF 40 level, but I just think it's great. Just the more, the better. So I put a lot of sunscreen on as my last uh, skincare step, and then I put this on on top. There's no fragrance to it. It really has like a nice creamy texture. It's really, really lovely. I'm really enjoying this. And like I said, I don't know how I missed this. I don't think this is like a brand new product, but yeah, only on Violet Gray would this have caught my eye. Another brand that's caught my eye is The New Co. And I decided to try this Eau de Parfum. This is Forest Lungs. And this is their functional fragrance for home. I really like the idea of this home one. Um, it's a fragrance with a function designed to help you rest and recenter at times of high stress. So I leave this at my desk. <laughs> it's usually when I'm like editing a video or something and I just like pull this out and I just spray, they say four to five spritzes. I just do like one, two, three, just around me. I take a few deep breaths and then I get back to work. Well, there's something about fragrance in general that I feel like it kind of breaks your cycle because you're kind of snapped out of whatever it is you're thinking. You're kind of like taken to this, this scent, this fragrance, and it's like, oh, what is that? This one in particular is very, very, it's interesting because I wouldn't say it's calming, but it does kind of uh, like bring things down. I do like their their use of like, recenter because it's not a super crisp or bright kind of scent. There is like warmth to it. It's very, very well-rounded, but it's not like lavender where you start to just sort of feel like you're hypnotized in a way or like you're in a poppy field or anything like that. It really is just sort of like a nice, like, like you're just taking it down a notch. And I 
been really enjoying it. So I've been keeping this at my desk and I'm really happy I kind of discovered this brand, again, on Violet Gray, I discovered this brand. And then this Forest Lungs, it really caught my eye. And let me see if I can find the notes in here. So juniper trees, I think, are at the essence of this fragrance. So it's inspired by the Japanese's concept of forest bathing. Forest Lungs uses olfactory chemistry in patented technology to replicate the molecular compounds produced in forest phy phyto phytoncides. Phytoncides. Phytoncides are completely mispronouncing that. Um, are credited for the positive health benefits associated with forest bathing, namely stress reduction anxiety reduction and boosting the parasympathetic, the resting nervous system. Using science to work with nature, this is a sensory supplement designed to support the reduction of everyday stress. So it's like not just a perfume. It is, yeah, like something, I don't know, medicinal I think takes it too far, but it's something that is, you know, supposed to help you out mentally as well as um, physically. It smells like the forest after the rain and there's definitely a very kind of, a little bit of like an aftershave men's scent to this. So truth be told, I haven't been wearing this as perfume, but I've also been spraying this in the air as well. So I kind of have been going between the two of these. Um, this I spray a lot less. I'll just spritz like one time. This is much stronger than the room spray. Like I said, this one I sprayed like three times. This is like definitely much more relaxing. And I, there's something about it too, I guess because of the whole forest smell. The, the scent of the forest. It is very kind of holiday-ish too. So that is Forest Lungs. And I know the new co, they also have like supplements and things. Uh, they're more of like, I think, a wellness um, company versus like a beauty company. But I'm completely intrigued by them and really, really enjoying this Forest Lungs and this functional fragrance. Very cool. All right, and now we're moving into the territory of products that I have recommended quite a bit. <laughs> often, uh, but we're gonna start with the Hair Ritual by Sicily. So um, they have the Revitalizing Fortifying Serum. This, you guys know, I have been using for years now and I love it. I've lost track. I don't know how many bottles of this I've gone through, four, five. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably my fifth, but this is a serum for your scalp. So I put it on uh, after I wash my hair. So while it's still damp, towel dried but damp and it, there's directions on there but you're supposed to put three dots of the serum center of your head three along the side uh, so nine dots in total and then I just flip my hair over and I just massage it in and it's wonderful I've seen like a health difference with my hair I've seen more growth I feel like my hair is stronger I feel like my hair is shinier I really really enjoy this scalp serum this is the first and only Sicily hair ritual product that I used for a long time and then I just tried a whole bunch of other ones out including this balm so this is the restructuring nourishing balm and you can leave this in overnight if you want something kind of like deep conditioning deep nourishing but I just, you know, I'm not a great planner. I never really think that far ahead. So what you can also do is just put this in like at the ends of your hair, which is what I like to do. You know, kind of like a nice generous amount. I kind of just coat my hair with it. I tie it up right before I'm gonna shower. So I do it about 30 minutes before I shower and then I just wash it out and I feel like my hair just feels soft. It doesn't feel weighed down, but it feels soft. It feels more manageable and it just, yeah, I almost feel like after putting this in, my hair, you know, and I shampoo and I condition, my hair feels a little bit cleaner as well. So um, yeah, just wanted to recommend these two things from Sicily's Hair Ritual line. And then, you know, like I said, there's just been so, so many Cyber Week deals, Black Friday deals that, you know, I don't want to be too redundant, but this product, I don't think I saw actually on the Chantecai site, and I did see this on the Violet Gray site. So this is their CBD 300 face and body cream. I, If you guys are into CBD products, I really enjoy them. I find them to be anti-inflammatory. I think it's depend, you know, it's personal. All skincare is personal, but I find it to be really anti-inflammatory. Um, I do suffer from eczema. I really haven't had a breakout in a while, but my skin, I can feel it getting hot 
it gets um, angry, <laughs> it gets irritated. And when I use the CBD cream, it just, it's calming. It's not cooling. Like I have a lot of products that help my skin like cool and um, you know, masks and things like that. But the CBD cream I feel like is really calming. It just sort of like neutralizes everything. It just sort of brings everything back. It's almost like, it's like a mediator. It just calms everything down. Um, and you can use this on your face and your body. I do still get little eczema patches on my body every once in a while. And this has helped in the past as well. If I just sort of like spot treat it, it helps a lot. So wanted to mention the CBD cream from Chantecaille. And Violet Gray also carries Suzanne Kaufman. I am such a huge fan of Suzanne Kaufman. Um, I just brought down one thing, um, the body butter, but they have a lot of sets, little gift sets, little travel sets, things that I think are perfect for the holidays or for yourself if you're thinking about diving into this line, you don't know where to start and you kind of want to try a few things. They have some wonderful sets, but every single thing I've tried from Suzanne Kaufman has been impeccable. The fragrances are really, really light in the products. They're very, very refreshing. She has a lot of bath oils, this body butter. She has like a gorgeous hand cream, just wonderful, wonderful products. So I wanted to mention Suzanne Kaufman. This again is a brand that I've talked about a lot in a lot of videos, in a lot of recommendation videos, in a lot of favorites videos. Um, so just a quick mention, but I feel like you couldn't go wrong. You could pretty much get anything from her line and be happy. Augustinus Botter, if perhaps maybe you missed getting something at the Sephora sale, <laughs> you can get it now. So I love the rich cream. I've been using this for quite some time now. I wanna say maybe two months. I basically use this at night, um, but I have used this during the day and it's a little, it's a little heavy. I feel like I have to wait a little bit before I put on sunscreen and then do my makeup or whatever. Um, but it's not, it's not devastating. It's not like it ruins my day, uh, but I love the rich cream. It has squalene in it, so it has that kind of goopy texture to it, and it just kind of like suctions onto your face, which is why I like using it at night. I, you know, just kind of lay in bed and I do all my other stuff and all my other face stuff, and this is like the last step. And I just sit in bed and I just like massage it in, and it's really, really beautiful. I love the texture of it, and as I understand it, they reformulated this, I don't know how long ago, but when I first used this, when the first came out, or at least first introduced in the US, I didn't like the texture. I found it dry, and I found the actual texture of the cream dry. So I'm glad that they changed it because now I'm a huge fan. I think it's really, really wonderful. I also wanted to mention the body cream. I left that upstairs, um, but I just got the body cream during the Sephora sale. So I haven't been using it that long, um, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, this one I can definitely recommend. Absolutely. I've been using the Suzanne Kaufman one for a long time. The Augustinus Botter, I'm loving it so far. So if you're thinking about getting it, I would give it a shot because it's very, very luxurious and it is uh, relatively thick. So if you have dry skin, which we probably all do going into winter, unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I apologize. Uh, but if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and you're going into winter, um, yeah, I think a body butter is a good idea. So I wanted to mention those. And then uh, Revive. This is another product I've talked about a lot in recommendations, in favorites, et cetera, et cetera. But this is their Soleil Superior SPF 50, broad spectrum, PA with four pluses, UVA, UVB sunscreen. This is a sunscreen I use pretty much as a last step to my skincare routine uh, during the day. And uh, this makes for a lovely, lovely under makeup sunscreen. It doesn't ball up. It doesn't, um, it's chemical sunscreen, so there's no white powderiness to it. It has the most incredible, smooth, silky texture. It is an incredibly luxurious feeling SPF. And yeah, I'm just about done, <laughs> which makes me so sad, but I'm gonna get some during the sale, 20% uh, off. So it does come with a pump. So this is a bottle and the top is a pump there. Uh, so just, Really, really love it. And I'm coming to the end of this bottle. I think this is, yeah, this is definitely coming to its end. And so I think this will be my third bottle that I've gone through. Anyway, yeah, my favorite SPF. I love that it's 50 as well. So that's the Revive SPF. What else did I wanna mention? Well, let me talk about what's on my face. So the Super Goop um, Glow Screen, that's what I have all over my face. I've also rediscovered the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Pencils. So as you guys know, I'm like just 
obsessed with one and done eyeshadows and eyeshadow looks and these pencils are great. So this is in the shade Dark Pearl. This is all I have on my eyes. So I swiped a little bit kind of all over. I blended it out with a brush and then I just concentrated it along my lash line to kind of, you know, like mimic a liner, like a, an eyeliner. Um, and then I did the same thing, my lower lash line. This is such a beautiful color. It's like a cool tone brown with, I don't know if you can see it, it shifts a little bit mauve -y. So it's just a really, really beautiful one and done shade. So that's what I have on my eyes. And then what I have on my cheeks, I haven't talked about these in a long time. I just have too much makeup, but this is the Surat Artistic Liquid Blush and I have the Barb Epapa shade on. So this is the really cool toned pink. Um, let me see if I can swatch some of this. And there's a beautiful like silvery sheen to it. If you're familiar with Surratt's Artistic Blush in the same color, it's it has that same kind of sheen to it. So that's basically what I have on my cheeks today. And it's so, so beautiful. I mean, it looks so cool, but it just kind of like warms up and just is this like beautiful like pink on the cheeks. Just really, really healthy. So that's what I have on my cheeks. I have the Make um, Serum. Uh, on my lips, what am I missing? The Surat Mascara. This is the Noir Lash Tint, and this is that mascara I won't shut up about. <laughs> it has that bristleless wand at the end. It has threading, which catches the um, product, and I just think it's amazing. It's a great, great mascara. It keeps my curl, and I love the applicator. The, the bristleless applicator is so neat and tidy, and I don't feel like I'm getting mascara everywhere. It's wonderful, I love this. Okay, so those are my recommendations. Let's jump into my wish list because uh, since the last time I was on, Vi on Violet Gray, which was very recently, they've added some new, just approved things. A few things from Amman, which is like a line of luxury hotel slash spas. There's one actually in Utah here that I'm dying to go to. There's one in Turks and Caicos. I think that one's Amin Yara. The one in Utah I think is Amin Giri. I'm probably getting all the names mixed up. Anyway, it has been like a dream of mine to vacation at one of these uh, resorts. And they've come out with a whole line of body products. And <laughs> they have a Nourishing Sacred Heart Balm, which looks like a very highly moisturizing like body balm. They have a Grounding Amethyst Scrub and Soak, which is, I believe, a body scrub and something you can put into your bath. And then they have a grounding body oil and a nourishing coconut milk bath. I really wanna try the nourishing coconut milk bath. I think that would be amazing. Just add that to your water and then you just, oh, like the perfect spa experience. So I think I really wanna get the grounding amethyst scrub and soak and the nourishing coconut milk bath. I'm gonna get both of those. Um, and I'm gonna bring the spa to me. Until I can get there, this is the second best thing. Um, so that is definitely on my wish list going into my cart. And then this brand, Rouge, R-O-U-J-E, has caught my eye and I just, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't picked anything up from this brand, but they have uh, lip palettes and lipsticks. And I definitely wanna pick up some of their lipsticks. It's just this beautiful range of reds going from like bright to burnt reds and you know, I. I love a good red, so um, I definitely wanna pick up uh, one of the lipsticks, and I definitely wanna pick up one of the lip palette cream palettes, because they have two cream palettes and then they have two lip powder palettes. I think I'm more of a cream palette. I, th I think I wanna pick up number two, Chalure. This is the one that looks a little bit lighter and brighter. Let me see this other one. This other one is Signature. Maybe this is better. It has like a darker, a deeper mauve, and then it has like a lighter pink, and then a, a red that looks like a primary red. Yeah, so maybe I will try those. I definitely wanna get like a, a traditional like bullet lipstick. I definitely wanna get one of those. And then I was thinking about picking up the Tom Ford White Suede Candle. Now, 
a, a friend of mine, I was going to say a subscriber, I think we've, we've moved past that, we're friends now. A friend of mine uh, DM'd me on Instagram and she was like, I think you'd really like the Tom Ford white suede. She's like, I've forgotten about it. She had, I think, just stopped by the Tom Ford counter and smelled it again and she was like, I gotta get this. And she said she thought of me. So um, I thought I would try the white suede candle. I have so many perfumes. Not that I don't think I could I could use another, but I've never tried a Tom Ford candle and I'd really like to experience it and see how it is. So that may end up in my cart. Yeah, I think I may add that in. Actually, let me go to the Tom Ford page and see if they have that in the cologne. I think they just have the white suede in the candle. Okay, that makes my decision a lot easier. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pick that up and then Speaking of fragrance, there is a Frederick Mall fragrance that I want to try. I have a few from Frederick Mall now. I have Portrait of a Lady. I have, wow, I can't remember the name, but it's like rose and leather, but in French. Um, they have one on here. It's called Promise. And the notes are, they just sound incredible. So the top notes, pink pepper, rosemary oil, apple. I love apple. Heart notes, Bulgarian rose oil, Turkish rose, absolute clove oil. That really caught my eye, I was like clove. I do like the smell of cloves. And base notes, patchouli, ambroxan, labdanum, and cypriol. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have to try that one. That sounds so, so good to me. So that is the one called Promise. And I think, do they only have it in one size? Yeah, they only have it in the 3.4 ounce, which is the larger size. It's described as a warm and spicy fragrance that combines two precious varieties of rose. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to try that. So that is what is on my wish list. I will definitely do a haul video <laughs> once I uh, get this order in, I guess all my other Black Friday orders, I will definitely be doing a big haul for that. Uh, but thank you so, so much for tuning in. Again, I will leave uh, all the details uh, that I got from Violet Gray down below, like exclusions and dates and things like this. I didn't mention this, but this video is not sponsored. I, I feel like I just came off like it's sponsored. This is not a sponsored video. They just informed me of the sale that was coming up. They told me what the exclusions were. And if I wanted to talk about it, I could talk, obviously I could do, I could talk about it or not talk about it. But I just wanted to pass it along to you because I love Violet Gray so much. So anyway, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.